It's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you or someone I love helps me with a task. <sighs> love languages. You've heard of them, I've heard of them. And the first time I did, I actually went up to see the psychological research behind these love languages. And honestly, it's mixed. There is no definitive proof that they actually work. So while this concept of love languages isn't 100% scientific, it's cool to look into. Perhaps learn a little bit about yourself, learn a little bit about your partner. So. Let's take these results with a grain of salt, have a little fun, find out a little bit more about me on my quest for love. Clearly, look, I got dressed up. It's a date in you. Hey. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love sends me a love note, text, email for no special reason, or I hug someone I love. Oh, hug all day, all day. I love hugging not only my partner, but also my friends, my family, my patients. I remember there was an article that came out that said you shouldn't be hugging your patients, and I actually got a little bit angry at it, because I think there's something special when there's a human physical bond, appropriately, of course. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with someone I love, just us. Someone I love does something practical to help me out. Mm. What's considered practical? Like taking out the trash? No, I don't think that's meaningful. I like spending one-on-one -on -one time with somebody. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of our love of concern for each other. A love? What? Love of concern. I've never heard a love of concern. We'll ignore that one for now. I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. I don't think I care that much about gifts. I would definitely appreciate it, but I think uninterrupted leisure time, like being bummy, just hanging out with Bear, is more special or meaningful to me. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected for me to help with a project, or I can share an innocent in touch with someone I love. <laughs> the way they write these questions sometimes. What's an innocent touch? Like, is this an innocent touch? Is this an innocent touch? I feel like the touch is more valuable to me. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public or someone I love surprises me with a gift. I like gifts, but I also feel like it's really hard to get me gifts. Like if I want something, I go get it really quickly. I feel like it leaves little options for my friends, family, and loved ones to get me gifts. So if you can surprise me with a gift that's awesome, I would be really impressed. But putting your arm around me in public is cute. I'm a fan of PDA, I think. It's nice. Hug them. Arm around me in public, it is. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone I love even if we're not doing anything, or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, or putting my arm around someone I love. I love going hiking and doing stuff outdoors. You wanna run with me? Run with me! Chasing new goals and aspirations, but at the same time, I can easily like hang out on this couch and watch a documentary and talk about it, or do our individual hobbies together in the same room. That's fun. So I think doing stuff around someone I love, even if we're not really doing anything, is probably more me. It's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone I love, or I hear from someone I love that they love me. There's no gift that someone can give me that would just wow me as much as someone being really kind and sweet with their words. So I'm gonna say, I hear from someone I love that they love me. Bear, love me. He can't hear me. It's more meaningful to me when I sit close to someone I love or I'm complimented by someone I love for no apparent reason. Sit close to someone you love? What, it, what, what kind of Shakespearean nonsense is this? Oh honey, would you mind if I just sit next to you innocently? This is just a weird one. Like they're not equivalents. Compliment wins here. It's more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out with someone I love. I unexpectedly get small gifts from someone I love. I, I like just hanging out. I feel like this is all it's gonna be. Comments like, Mike just likes Netflix and chill. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm getting old. I'm in my 30s. Joints are starting to hurt. So I like to just hang out. I'm also a cuddler, so is Bear. It's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you, or someone I love helps me with a task. <sighs> Oh, these are hard. Both of these are important for me. Actually, what I get a lot, maybe not with long-term partners, but with dates, people being like, I'm not gonna compliment you, your head's gonna blow up. It's already big. First of all, I don't think my head is big. Look at Dan Owens, my videographer, number one. I got this big ass head, dude. So when you go on a date with someone and they refuse to tell you something nice because they think that they're gonna be too nice, it's like, they're doing some kind of evil manipulation on me and I'm not for it. I, I'm gonna go with proud of you. It's more meaningful to me when I get to do 
things with someone I love or I hear supportive words from someone I love. Both of these are good. Being able to hang out in a group with your partner, meet people with your partner, talk about those people with your partner, not in a mean way, but like just learn about who they are. I like to do things with someone I love. Even if the stuff isn't meaningful, like, well, it's meaningful to me, but like it's probably not meaningful for people to get couples massages, but for me, that means a lot. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Well, yeah. Who has a partner that's like constantly saying, I'm gonna do nice things for you, but never does them. Or I feel connected to someone I love through a hug. I think people who do things for you is nice. So I'm gonna go that one. It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around someone I love or I get a back rub from someone I love. Back rubs all day. I don't think anything can make me smile more than my partner being like, hey, want me to give you a back or foot rub at the end of the day? Like my jaw would drop. I'd be like, what? I'll rub bear, you rub me? It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to be in close physical proximity to someone I love. All these proximity questions, get to sit next to them, maybe stand. And if it gets real serious, you guys can squat next to one another. Whoa! I sense someone I love showing interest in the things I care about. Showing interest in things you care about. Like, it's cool that you can be over there and I can be over here, but if I'm playing the game and you show interest and you're like, oh, I kind of want to learn about this and like step outside my comfort zone and grow, I'd be like, oh my God, show me your, your crochet stuff because I want to learn about that. Bet you didn't know I date 90 year olds. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love works on special projects with me that I have to complete, or someone I love gives me an exciting gift. I would go neither of these, but I haven't picked a gift one in a while, and an exciting gift sounds kind of cool. Like, what if they're like, let's go skydiving together, woo. And I'm like, ooh, scared of heights, but let's do it. It's more meaningful to me when I'm complimented by someone I love on my appearance. Someone I love takes the time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. All right, this is like basically asking you, are you a shallow mofo or not? Do you like comment? compliments or do you like for someone to truly understand you? <laughs> like, are you vacuous or do you have some depth? You POS. <laughs> Obviously, someone I love takes the time to really understand my feelings. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking with each other. Oh, that means a lot. Someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. God, that's a good one too. I'm gonna say someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me, mostly because it says goes out of their way. Out of their way, it's like they're sacrificing and great love comes with sacrifice. <laughs> It's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't interrupt me while I'm talking. Gift giving is an important part of the relationship with someone I love. One is like, duh, who's like, who's like, I love when my partner interrupts me, it's my favorite. Like I come home from a long day and I, I just love to be interrupted. I think gift giving is an important part, but not receiving, gift giving. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love helps me out when they know I'm already tired or I get to go somewhere while spending time with someone I love. Ooh, this is another one that I feel like is a tie. It's cheating. I also feel like this, this quiz understands me and understands that I'm really tired a lot. And it keeps giving me questions like at the end of a long day, when you're already tired, when you are stressed and your responsibilities seem too high. That's like my everyday life. I'm gonna take a pivot off of the stressed, tired old man role that I've been playing thus far and go with option two. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern. I prefer the kneecap. Someone I love gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day. I like the arm or shoulder, but I feel like that's like, like a friend. If someone I love just like does this, I'll be like, what's up? <laughs> You're being weird. <laughs> Hug me. Like I can't imagine my wife coming home and I'll be like, honey, are you okay? It's more like, honey, are you okay? That's how I do it with Bear, like when he's acting weird. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation, or I'm touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. The small token of appreciation is nice, but I'm a touch person. Like I'm a doctor, human touch, the healing touch. I don't, I promise I don't touch people like this. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love helps me out, especially if I know they're already busy. It's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me that they appreciate me. Oh, both good ones again. I feel like this quiz is gonna get really right on what I'm about. And that's being tired and needing help. <laughs> Oh, my primary love language is quality time, 30%. In quality time, nothing says I love you like full, undivided attention. Being there for this type of person is critical, but really being there with the T 
TV off, fork and knife down, and all chores and tasks on standby. This is a little aggressive. It makes you feel truly special and loved. Distraction, postpone activities, or the failure to listen can be especially hurtful. Whether it's spending uninterrupted time talking with someone else or doing activities together, you deepen your connection with others through sharing time. Interesting, this isn't the one that I thought would be number one for me. And then the next one is physical touch. And then the next one tied for number two is acts of service. And then the other one is words of affirmation. Yeah, my least one is receiving gifts. Yeah, I agree. In fact, I would probably say physical touch and acts of service are my first two and quality time should be three. What confuses me about this whole love language principle is your own love languages should be the ones that you also express yourself with. And for me, I love giving gifts and surprising people and making people feel loved that way, but I hate receiving gifts and I don't really like enjoy that process. So it seems like may not work for everybody. They say for a healthy relationship, you should really get to know your partner. If you'd like to get to know me, check out my personality test video here or my 50 facts about me video, one of the first videos ever done on this channel. Which one are you gonna watch to learn more about your potential mate? What? Stay happy and healthy.